Hi, everybody. We're working on our homework tonight from lesson eight. This is in the Succeed book, the book with the bedroom. And again, this is lesson eight. We're on pages 69 and 70. And tonight's homework is pretty simple. We're not using our meter strip, not using a ruler. We're using the rulers that they have given us. And we're going to be measuring, adding, and subtracting using this as a number line. So line C starts here at 16, and it goes to, line, to number 26. So we are subtracting um, 16 from 26, or we can count on or count back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Line C is ten centimeters. Or we could take one ten and six ones away from twenty six, right? Line D starts at twelve and it goes to nineteen. So we'd be thinking nineteen minus 12. Well, 10 minus 10 would be zero. Nine minus two, we're counting back two from nine. Or we can count on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Line D is seven centimeters. If we want to combine them, we want to combine them, we would count on from 10, we would count seven more. Or we can look at here where they overlap and we could add that onto the end. So let's say we have 10, let's count on seven more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 10 and 7 more is 17 centimeters. How much longer or shorter is line C than line D? First of all, is line C longer or shorter than D? 10 is more than 7. So line C is longer than line D. What is the difference between those two numbers? What is the difference between 10 and 7? How many more would we need to get from 10, 7 to 10? Or counting back from 10 to 7? How many more? 7 and 3 makes 10. So line C is three centimeters longer than line D. This next one is fun. This next one says, an ant walked 12 centimeters to the right, that direction, on this ruler, and then turned around and walked five centimeters to the left. His starting point is marked on the ruler, where is the ant now? And we're going to show our work on the broken ruler. So we are going to be the ant, and we are going to walk 12 centimeters to the right, and then 5 centimeters to the left. So let's start off by doing 12. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, but then he goes back five centimeters. So here we go, back in one, two, three, four, five. Where did he end? That's the end. He went forward 12, back five, and he ended up at 18. 
going to page 70. Okay. All of the parts of the path below are equal length units. So right here, it says it is three units. So then how long is this if it is equal to three? This is three. How long is this if it is equal to three? How long is this if it's equal to three? And finally, how long is this if it is equal to three? They are all equal, so they are all the same. Each of these is three units long. And this time it's not telling us if it's centimeters or meters or inches or paper clips or however long, whatever they're using to measure. They're saying it is units, so three units. Now, first of all, they wanted us to fill in the empty boxes with the links, that's easy. Now they want us to say how much is the entire path if we were to add all of those up. Remember how we did it before? We had three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six. Three plus three is six plus three. Six plus six is 12 plus three. So 12 and three more, holding 12, count up three, 13, 14, 15. The entire path is 15 length units. Now, how many more parts would you need to add to be 21 length units long? So if we're at 15 and we wanna get up to 21, how much more do we have to add on to that? So we have 15, we want to get to 21. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. How many more did we have to add to get to 21? Six. But now it's not asking us how much more do we need to get. It says how many more parts of the path do we need to get? So if we need six length units, how many length units are in one part of the path? Three. So how many parts of the path do we need to have six? Three and three again. So that would be two path parts to get to six. Here's the last one. The length of a picture is 67 centimeters. The width of the picture is 40 centimeters. How many more centimeters is the length than the width? So 67 is how much more than 40. Sixty-seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then actually we should make that one in dots because we're going to need to maybe. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is 50, 60, 7, right? Now, 40 centimeters is the width of it. We want to know the difference between 67 and 40. We need to take away some tens. So we can take this 10 away first. That's one. We can take this 10 as two, three, four. If we take away four tens, how many tens are left? Two tens. How many ones are left? Seven ones. So the difference between 67 and 40 is 10, 20, seven. 27 centimeters longer. Good work today, boys and girls. I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks.